welcome to Extremely Cosmic. So I filmed the same video a very, very long time ago when I had hardly any vinyls but decided to film one anyway. I was like so surprised at the reception that it got because like so many people watched that video. I didn't think that like so many people would want to watch me talk about vinyls and show you vinyl records but apparently that's a thing that people like to watch. So here I am to make another video of my vinyl collection. I think I started collecting vinyls in 2015 and since then my collection has very much grew. In the beginning it started out buying albums that I really, really enjoyed and that I loved and then I would buy them on vinyl. It turned into like secondhand vinyl and it got a bit mad. <laughs> so a large portion of my vinyls are brand new that I've bought in like HMV or various like Amazon, eBay, that kind of thing. Then like a massive chunk of my collection came from when my grandma and granddad cleaned out their loft and found a lot of my dad's old records and my dad's sister's old records. My dad wasn't interested in keeping any of them and he was just like, have them. My auntie lives down south and she didn't want them back so she was like, have them. And then she actually cleaned out the basement of our old house and found a bunch of other records and then she was like, have them. So therefore I have a lot of old vinyls that I absolutely love and that are basically most of my collection. But I'm going to start with the brand new singles that I have, the un-old second-hand ones. This is Francesco Gabbani, Ochi Dentelli's Karma. Yes, I read that from the box because I literally cannot pronounce that. He represented Eurovision last year in 2017. Jenny Lewis, just one of the guys. This is Rat Boy Fake ID. I honestly don't know why I have this. I bought it on a whim. And I have Mika Grace Kelly. Mika's my favourite male artist of all time. I listened to him when I was a kid. I listened to him growing up and I just love all of his music. I love him so much. He's so nice as well. These ones are all by the 1975 because back in 2015, I loved the 1975. I was obsessed with them. My first ever vinyl that I got was by the 1975. Now, I'm not so much of a fan. Don't get me wrong. They are a nice bunch of people. I've met Matty twice and he is so lovely and so kind and so down to earth. I'm not a fan of mainstream pop music and their last album was enough to handle but literally their recent music I cannot stand. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. It's not my type of music. I still really think they're nice guys and I wouldn't shame you for liking them but it's not my bag. I've got medicine, that's orange but I can't be bothered to get it out. I've got Fallen For You, Love Me, The Sound and A Change Of Heart. Tika, We Are Golden on a golden disc. Aqua Barbie Girl which I got a record store day in 2017. Prince, Little Red Corvette on 1999 which I also got a record store day in 2017. Marilyn Manson, Heart Shaped Glasses and I love Marilyn Manson so much. One of my favourite, favourite bands, artists, whatever you want to call it, of all time. Love him so much. I've always been a big Lady Gaga fan and I found these in France and I was so excited about them. I've never seen them before. Just Dance, Telephone and Paparazzi and like Paparazzi one's my favourite. On to the old music. Mr Blue Sky by the Electric Light Orchestra. Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Cindy Lauper, girls just want to have fun! I've been searching for this for a very long time and when I found it I was so excited about it so don't take that excitement away from me. Cindy Lauper, she bop. Cindy Lauper, all through the night. Wham, wake me up before you go-go. Mickey by Tony Basil, I literally have never played this. The most horrible cover of Michael Jackson's Beat It. I don't know how to pronounce this but... Superman by Black Lace. Has all the instructions on the back as well how to do it. That's really fun. The Culture Club. Karma Chameleon. <laughs> Human League. Don't you want me? Also the Human League. Mirror Man. Also the Human League. Love Action. Rhythm of the Night by DeBarge. Grease. You're the one that I want. Blondie. Heart of Glass. Blondie. Call me! Also Blondie, the tide is high, but I'm holding on. Prince, when doves cry. Prince, kiss. How do I keep doing this with my records? Only You by Yazoo, one of them songs that I really cry to every single time I listen to it. B-52's Rock Lobster. <laughs> Last Christmas, it's not Christmas yet. And if I see shops with the Christmas decorations up, I am literally gonna go and pull them down. Do they know it's Christmas by Band-Aid. The Jacksons, shaggy body down to the ground because I love a bit of disco. You can't beat a bit of disco. Harry Newman, our friends Electric. This is Pink Floyd, another brick in the wall, and it is like in the horriblest cover. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Bob Dylan, Knocking on Heaven's Door. Banana Rama, Cruel Summer. Tainted Love by Soft Cell. Even though Marilyn Manson's version is 10 times better than that. Madonna, Express Yourself. I'm wearing my Madonna t shirt. How coincidental. Got a lot of Adamant records because my dad loved Adamant, and I kind of like Adamant, and I just took them all, so I've kind of got a lot of them. We've got Puss in Boots, and the cat on the back is really cute. Kings of the Wild Frontier. Prince Charming. Stand and deliver. So I had him at live and he was really, really good actually. Ant Music. Friend or Foe. And Ant Rap. John Jett. I love rock and roll. Dead or Alive. You spin me right round like a record. The most cheesiest song ever. Bon Jovi. Living on a Prayer. George Michael. Careless Whisper. Grandmaster Flash. White Lines. I'm gonna be 500 miles by the Proclaimers. <laughs> Kylie Minogue. I should be so lucky. Sex Crime. 1984. By the Eurythmics. This is Nina Simone. Ain't got no. I got 
Life, which is a really great song. Not really sure about this plastic sleeve though. We Are Glass, Gary Newman. This wreckage, Gary Newman. I'm going to see Gary Newman in November and I'm so excited. Bangles, Walk Like an Egyptian. Rebel Yell by Billy Idol. I just got this one really recently and I was super excited about it. Eurythmics, There Must Be an Angel Playing With My Heart. Because we all know the lyric, when I walk into the room and suddenly my heart goes boom, is the most cheesiest lyric ever. <laughs> this last one is by far one of my favourite records I have. On the cover alone is amazing. If you know me at all, you know I love drag queens and I love RuPaul's Drag Race. It's Elton John and RuPaul. Don't go breaking my heart. This cheesy cover is everything that I'm living for and honestly, it's just a great song. It's a great song. It's really, really weird, but it's a great song. I've only got two 10 inch records, so I'll show you those. First of all, I got Marilyn Manson, The Dope Show, and I absolutely love this. This is him in the music video. I also have this Moana picture disc, which I got at Record Store Day last year in 2017. Now let's move on to the big one. This one was a recent buy. Madonna, Who's That Girl? Oh my God, I can barely fit this in the screen. The Grease soundtrack. The whole record collection is accompanied by this this little Olivia Newton-John as Sandy in Grease pop figurine. So Mika, Life in Cartoon Motion, Kill Bill Volume 1 soundtrack. Kill Bill is my favourite all-time ever film ever. That made no sense, but still, it's my favourite film. In a close second is Pulp Fiction, and this is the Pulp Fiction soundtrack. Panic in the Disco, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. I'm not the biggest fan, I'm not a massive kind of enthusiast about them, and for me, this is the only album I listen to, so no hate please. This is The Cure Mixed Up, which I got for Regular Store Day this year. Also, I have the other Cure mixed up album, which is like Robert Smith's face. I mentioned before, I love the Eurythmics. This is 1984. I also got this for Record Studio 2018. Also got the Labyrinth soundtrack because I absolutely love this film. It was my favorite film growing up as a kid and it still holds a special place in my heart. Marilyn Manson, Heaven Upside Down. That is his most recent album and it is amazing. This is Poppy.Computer and it's kind of like holographic. It's really, really insane. And on the inside, it has this really large poppy. I'm such a fake fan. It's Day, but literally she's doing more music now and I'm not really the biggest fan of it but like I like that album like a few songs off that album not the whole album I'm not that much of a fan of the whole album and my queen Kate Bush this is the whole story and I love Kate Bush so much she's one of my favorite female artists of all time I actually have a poster of Kate Bush on my wall <laughs> and I've got M83 Junk the Scissor Sisters the Scissor Sisters this again is one of them albums that I listened to when I was growing up like Mika and I fell in love with them and I've listened to them like the whole time as I was growing up this album in particular was very special to me. We used to karaoke to it in the car. A song on this album called Tits on the Radio and my mom used to change it to Chicks on the Radio because otherwise she would have me singing tits all the time and that wasn't right for a five, six year old. Got Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. Grandmaster Flash, White Lines, again. Pretty heavy, Simple Minds, Live. Prince, Let's Go Crazy. Banana Rama's Greatest Hits. I got this at Record Store Day 2017. D-Light, Grooves in the Heart. Aqua, Aquarium. Which, guess what? I also got a regular store day at 2017. Buggles, Video Killed a Radio Star on Pitch Disc. And guess where I got this one? Record Store Day. 2017. Lady Gaga, Joanne, Leagues, You Belong Here, Lana Del Rey, Honeymoon, Lana Del Rey, Paradise, Lana Del Rey, Born to Die, Existential Crisis, right there. Tegan and Sarah, Love You to Death, this is Swim Deep Mothers and this is actually signed by them and I got this when I pre-ordered the album. Bad Sons, Disappear Here, the album that I first heard by Bad Sons, which is Language and Perspective, the best album. One of my earlier purchases on vinyl and it's Katy Perry's album Prism, on a lot of picture discs of Katy Perry's old music but I don't really like her personality that much and also her new music sucks so I saw her live and she put in an amazing show so I can't really complain we're falling down did you just hear that? This vinyl's falling down on my shelf. Bad Lines by Halsey. I have a lot of opinions about Halsey that I don't really know whether I want to include. I'm not going to say anything else, but there's the tea. Courtney Barnett. Sometimes I sit and think and sometimes I just sit. What a mood. What a mood. I've seen Courtney Barnett again at the end of this year, so that's super exciting. Then I've got the 1975's four EPs. Face Down, IV or whatever. I don't know Roman numeral. Music for Cars and Sex. And this is the 1975 self-titled album. The 1975 is the album that made me really like the band and really fall in love with their music and then they changed their mood. The second album looked like this. I like it when you sleep for you so beautiful yet so unaware of it. So when I met Matty for the second time I got him to sign it and he signed it Amy Hart's Matty. And this is my Rocky Horror Picture Show album box set and this has three vinyls in it. One of them is the stage show, one of them is the original soundtrack and then one of them is like a sing-along type one I think. Like this box thing and it has some other stuff in it as well. Now you're probably thinking like Amy what the heck? 
Nick. You haven't shown your ABBA collection yet. What the heck, you haven't talked about your favourite band yet. I mentioned a lot of things about ABBA in my last vinyl video because I had a lot of opinions and I'm just gonna like quickly talk about those. Basically, I like ABBA. I've loved ABBA for a long time. Once again, I listened to them when I was a kid and my mum and dad used to play them. My mum, more so. This time I realised that these were my band. I was in a newspaper shop and I saw a magazine and the special was ABBA and I was like, I kind of like ABBA. Let's buy this magazine. Came home, read the magazine, realised that they were literally my favourite band ever and decided to go and find all their vinyls whenever I could. Most of my vinyls that I have by them are second hand and a few of them are brand new that I bought because they were special edition or such like that. I've been a fan for quite a long time and I love them and I'd watch out anything with them in and stuff like that but the one thing I cannot stand is Mamma Mia. Very relevant topic with the recent film and everything. I actually kind of want to see the recent one because I have Cher in it. I really like Cher. I'm super excited for her album that covers ABBA songs because actually like she puts her own like twist on it. She puts the whole like vocoder thing on her voice. She sounds different. They're more like poppy and stuff and share eyes. The one thing I can't stand about Mamma Mia is that they attribute the songs to cringy plot lines. I'm not one for romantic films. I don't like watching romantic films. They make me like gag. Give me a good comedy or a good action movie any day, honestly. Also just don't like the way they cover the songs because they cover the songs like completely the same as ABBA. They just try to like mirror ABBA. The thing that annoys me is these stupid kids growing up these days that are literally going and downloading the Mamma Mia soundtrack and then you ask them where this song is from and you go, it's from Mamma Mia. No, the song is originally by ABBA and I am getting so annoyed because this is what I feel on a daily basis. Yeah, that's my thoughts and I'm going to go and show you my ABBA shelves because I'm not taking them off the shelves because literally they're all in the right places and I am like that. So I'm just going to go and show you them. These are my two shelves and that is my super cool bat because I am ready for Halloween. This is the singles collection and this one is the visitors and this one is the big single of Lay All Your Love On Me. My favourite album, Arrival. This is ABBA the album. The single of SOS. This is an Agneta single that literally is broken. It has a snap in it and I didn't realise when I got it from the charity shop. One of Us, Head Over Heels. Uh, this is one of these special edition ones they released on their website, The Name of the Game, and Take a Chance on Me. On this shelf I've got The Greatest Hits Volume 1 and 2, and then this one is Super Trooper. This one's just ABBA. This is Voulez Vu, and this is ABBA Gold, and that's the actual gold version of that, the special edition anniversary one. ABBA in concert DVD there. This is the Record Store Day 2018 Summer Night City, and this was so wanted after Record Store Day. Everybody was putting this on eBay for so, like, literally, like, quadruple the price. This is an old German version of Waterloo, which I literally just fell in love with the cover of it, so I had to have it. And I've got Angel Eyes and Voulez Vu there. Does Your Mother Know and Dancing Queen there. And I've also got Arrival, because it's my favorite album on cassette for my little Walkman. Anyways, I am so tired of showing you my vinyls and that is all I have to show you until literally probably another couple of years when I have a load of vinyls that I don't know what to do with. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Post new videos every single week. And I post like loads of types of stuff. I post like funny things and vlogs and stuff like this and sketches and all kinds. And you should definitely go and subscribe. Please subscribe. My very current music recommendation is Jake Shear's new album, his solo album called Jake Shear's. Um, it is my favourite thing ever at the moment to listen to and you should definitely go and listen to it and give it a listen because it is amazing. Also, while it's still here, can you also do me a favour and go and watch Laganja Estranja's new song, Look At Me. I'm just gonna get that promo in there. Laganja is such a nice person, let me get this straight. Laganja is so, so sweet and so kind and so nice to me. Tweets me all the time and likes my tweets all the time. She's such a nice friend and she has put so much effort into this music video and literally spent all her money on it. Just trying to make that breakthrough in the music community so please go and give a music video or watch and subscribe to your channel because she's trying to get to like so many subscribers we all have goals and we all try to support each other and it's one click and all you have to do is literally sit there and watch the song you don't even have to listen to it but it is a really good song so you know go and listen to that and that's all I have to bother you with for today you are probably so sick of me now okay bye <laughs>